Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today I'm going to attempt to cook a hot dog with my induction heater. So, um, basically what I'm going to do is wrap it in aluminum foil, and because that experiment that I did in my last video um, with the tube, the tube that was had the slit in it did not heat up. Um, so, there has to be, it's, it's basically works like a um, transformer. So, this is the um, primary coil here and then the secondary coil would be that tube so it's basically if there's no slot in it that or if there's a slot in it then the current doesn't flow because so there's current being induced into it but the current can't flow because it can't go around in a circle just like a transformer primary it has to go in the same direction so if there's no slit in the tube then the current can flow and because there's resistance in the metal and there's so much current it heats up a lot so with the aluminum foil, I need to make sure when I wrap it around the hot dog that I wrap it enough times and wrap it tight enough that it has a good um, electrical contact so that the um, current can flow around the hot dog and thus heat it up. So I was originally going to try sticking a bunch of nails in the hot dog, but since the um, hot dog wouldn't fit in something this small, um, it wasn't going to work and little things don't heat up in this larger coil that I made. So this is just around a toilet paper roll. So, um, but yeah, I actually burnt out two MOSFETs already. Um, and that's with this coil, I turned it up to about 10 amps and it just, it overloaded or something. It also blew out my bridge rectifier diode diodes. So I need new. So I switched back to the old ones. Um, but yeah, so I was just originally going to try the nail idea, but it didn't really work because this doesn't heat up small things very well at all. So, but this does seem to heat up um, aluminum foil fine because, well, I wrapped it around my finger, wrapped some aluminum foil around my finger, and then I uh, turned it up a little bit <laughs> when I stuck my finger in there. It got pretty warm, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I've got half the hot dog all wrapped up in aluminum foil, but, so let's put it in the induction heater. And then we'll turn it on and see what happens. So there we go. Now, we'll just start at one end, I suppose. So now let's start cranking it up a little bit. Alright. I don't know, I'll probably put it at 7 amps. Oh wait. It's sizzling already. That's fast. So yeah, it's about 7 amps, 16 volts. So that would be... Where's my calculator? I'm gonna grab a calculator here. So 16 volts, 7.2 amps. 115 watts. It's probably gonna take a while for it to heat the whole hot dog up. <laughs> Sizzling. Wonder why. I think I need to turn my fan on over here because it's getting pretty warm. So, yeah, it's getting fairly warm. Plug that in. Still sizzling a little bit. So that's good. See, I don't know what these, uh, if the capacitors really make much of a difference. So it increases the current a bunch, but I don't know if it actually increases the induction heating or not. Yes, yeah, so this is not very interesting, so I'll probably come back and. No question about it, it's certainly working. Temperature is 108 degrees Fahrenheit inside, which that, that's a little bit off, so that's probably about boiling temperature, and it is boiling, so it's working surprisingly well, actually. Better than I expected. It's still at about 7 amps, 15 volts now, 15.6. And the heat sink is, ooh, actually quite, quite toasty. Whoops. Just moved everything. Keep that fan on there because it's 
quite warm actually. Coil is it's warm. It's not hot. So I could probably put the little fan on it, but I think it's okay. Cause it's just pretty warm. And these are cool. And those are still cool, so I think it's going pretty good. So yeah. I think we could probably move it a little bit because it looks like that part is mostly cooked. But it's certainly working. 109 degrees Fahrenheit now. But yeah. Try moving the temperature probe. Whoa! Steam just blew the hot dog out. <laughs> Steam explosion. <laughs> kind of funny. Look at that. Blew it out. <laughs> well, maybe we'll try eating that part. And then we'll cook the rest of it. Get the plate over here. Oh, I should probably turn this off. Oh, so it drops down to about 5 amps there. Maybe I wrapped the aluminum foil too tightly on it. Looks like the aluminum foil's cooked onto the hot dog. Hmm. It's kind of interesting looking. Oh, because that's just the skin that's ripped off. Well, this might be first ever induction cooked uh, hot dog, at least in this manner. I'm sure people have cooked um, hot dog before on induction cooktops, but not wrapped in a loom foil in an induction coil like that. So we'll test this and see how it tastes. So, it was definitely hot enough, so that's good. It looks cooked. Hot. <laughs> I don't know, it tastes like hot dog. <laughs> Nothing special about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Successfully cooked induction uh, hot dog. That's about it. Thanks for watching.